front of me a Saab Alpha uh, triple tuner. Uh, it's a, a two satellite and a one uh, DVB-T uh, terrestrial tuner. It's available with free delivery directly from freetv.ie. So it's a high-end uh, satellite receiver. Uh, it's capable of taking an internal hard drive and um, which we give as an option on the website, we pre-install it for either a 5 or, or a 1 terabyte drive. And it's a really cool box in terms of what it can do. It comes directly from our manufacturer, um, pre-configured with the free uh, UK channels. And you can add slot the Irish channels directly in at the top of the list as well. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to look at exactly what we get physically. And then we'll talk about um, the menu and the software interface on it and what, how cool it is as well. Some um, online functionality on it there as well. And that's increasingly common with Linux boxes where you have things like YouTube and all the rest of it integrated into it. So this is the outer box here, so you can just see it. Uh, we have a user setup manual that's here that's in English and it's in colour. And then what we have here is we have a set-top box here, we have a slot that we pull down, the card readers are in there, we have uh, the reader uh, display here as well. And then if you just look at the main event, it's on the back here. So the first thing to note here is, on this one here, we have two satellite tuners, one built in. And on the version we're actually going to do a demonstration on, this is how it comes in. It comes in the default, actually a single satellite tuner and a loop out. So we put in a second satellite tuner and a terrestrial tuner here as well. So we physically build it in sort of a modular format. But there's slots inside just ready to go in. So for instance, you could have it as a treble satellite or a treble terrestrial leader, but we sell it uh, for the Irish market, to, uh, twin satellite and terrestrial. It's what everybody wants, okay? So in terms of the outputs on it, um, it's a HDMI output. Um, there's an RCA type connections here as well. Nobody uses them. Everything there would be thing and uh, but you could break that into stereo right and left and video there and it's just color coded. There's a, a, an SPD uh, digital optical output on it. There's an ethernet connection here if you want to put it on the network. Um, we come along here and we have a bit ability then to add on USB drives via the US, two USB ports here, with an external drive here, and what we have is a power on off switch on it as well. Now, note we have a power unit, it's 12 volts, 2.5 amps, and we have the following cables as well, which we'd use for building in a, a hard drive on it, okay? We have a set of AAA batteries, and we have um, four screws here as well, and we'd use that for building the hard drive in. So if you would say, get us to install it, we'd be using this, or if subsequently afterwards you're using a 500 gig or one terabyte hard drive, just build it in and it'll just click and screw directly into the unit inside. And it's a very simple process to do, which is take off the four screws either side and the uh, uh, screws in the back here, just opens up the unit and just drops in. So, um, so that's basically it. We have the remote control here is cool. And also then what we have is a HDMI lead as well, okay? Uh, the remote control is good because the functionality is good and the angle and range on it's very impressive as well. So if we look at the main event here, what we have is this box here connected. We've only a single satellite feed going into it right now, but we can see the picture quality on it's very, very impressive. And if we come along here and I just hit the OK button here, we'll see that with the channel listings we're in is available to us. And if I hit the blue button here, we can see if I went down to all channels here, which would be the, for, the basic format on it, what we'll see is we've um, put in all the satellite channels, any of which are accessible there now, we've just scrolled down to them, the high, de high definition channels are obviously given preference. Now, normally it's not possible with set-top boxes to pre-program the Irish channels, simply because it depends on what your local transmitter is. But when we do it, what we actually have is, we, we haven't tuned in the channels as such, but we've created slots for it. And it just means that when you do a terrestrial scan then, they'll automatically drop in at the top of the list. Because people normally obviously will have a preference for the Irish channels at the top of the list. So that's that part of it there. If we just exit out from there, we can just hit the menu button, and we can just see that we have timer functionality on it, information, plugins, uh, setup, things like that. So obviously Linux boxes are very adaptable here. We've just gone with the standard um, file that came from our supplier directly on it. We haven't made any modification there. So obviously this is a, um, Saab, which is a Dutch-based company, and we, we find it very reputable in terms of the quality and the support service they give and all the rest of it here. So it's, it's a really beautiful box. It's, it's the only box we're currently selling that has uh, that is both a triple tuner um, and also it's the only box we have that's specifically designed to take a hard drive internally on it and that can be very very advantageous to have it actually built in here rather than having a, a PVR ready ones which actually have an external hard drive outside. So that's it anyway, an overview of the Saab Alpha triple tuner, uh, two satellite, one terrestrial with free delivery directly from freetv.ie.